Hi, boys and girls. This is Mr. Blackman. This week, we're going to have our video straight instead of sideways. We're going to do better at this. All right. Um, you should have already watched the video entitled Frog in the Well. And I thought it was a pretty good um, story that um, told us about good qualities that we should have, even though maybe we haven't had the same experiences as everyone else. So watch the video about the frog and the whale that I've linked with this and enjoy, and then come back and let's work on our project. Now, today we're gonna to be learning about cer certain skills, and one of them is how to create the optical illusion of perspective. So that is going to be our goal. Okay, for this project, um, there are not a lot of tools that you'll need. Uh, first of all, you should have watched the book on, online. The supplies that you will need is a white drawing paper. You will need a pencil. You will probably need at least a black marker, maybe a couple of other colors. Crayons. Uh, a piece of green construction paper if you have it. If not, you can improvise. I'll show you how. Uh, and scissors and glue. So we're going to get started on a project. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to work on the optical illusion. Now, when we're setting up our paper, we want it to make, make sure that our paper uh, is set so that we can create the illusion of depth. So we're going to start off making the viewer's eye go high on the page. I'll move this down so I can get my perspective right, okay? So we want to pull the person's eye that's gonna be viewing your work into this area up here, or you could do it on the opposite side. I'll let you choose. Um, I'm gonna use a bowl to help me with my hole for my well. So remember from the story, the frog was down in a well. So this is how we're gonna make the well, by using perspective. So I'm gonna take my bowl and nestle it up here in the corner, right, top corner of my paper and I'm going to use this bowl and my marker and I'm going to draw my circle. So this is going to be um, the hole that the frog is going to be looking up into. Okay. Now repetition is going to be the key when you are doing this because um, you want to remember the thing that I always tell you in class. When things are moving away from you, the little hand trick that I do with putting my hand in front of my eyes, close to my eyes, is going to be close up and larger. And as things move away from you, they get smaller and farther away. Remember that hand trick that I do? So this is basically what's happening with the hole in the wheel. So I am going to just, you can use your pencil to do this, uh, but I'm going to use a marker so you can watch me. So remembering that if you were down in a hole and you were looking up and there were bricks that were along the sides, the one closest to you down at the bottom of your page, closer to you if you're down in the well, is going to look large like the regular size. But as those bricks move up farther away from you, the bricks are going to get smaller because they are farther away. So I'm going to start with that. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to almost retrace just using my eyes because you know, if you're doing working with bricks, they may not be perfectly sized. I'm gonna let my line go off my page. That's okay. That's a little trick right there that helps you. And I'm gonna start moving down and making this space a little wider as I'm going down my page. So you see how that works? Um, I'm gonna move over so my job doesn't become quite so hard as I'm moving along. I'm actually drawing fewer lines. And I'm just gonna keep going on my paper. I'm gonna keep making this area get wider and wider as it moves out. That's gonna create that optical illusion. Okay, and I'm gonna, of course, my lines here are moving off my page and out into the field around my paper. So that's fine. We can do that. Okay, all right, and I'm gonna keep moving down my page, making sure that this space is getting wider and wider as I'm moving down, and I'm almost down to the bottom, so I'm gonna make this super wide. I'm just gonna do that, and I'm gonna tuck this little detail over here. So I have a se sequential uh, series 
of holes. Now this is gonna actually be the opening in my well, and all this is gonna be the wall of my well. So now, I'm gonna go back, and if I'm imagining bricks, bricks are uh, gonna be smaller in size. So these lines that I'm separating the brick lines with are going to be closer together at the top because you know they're farther away from me. And then as I move down my well, they're gonna get uh, even farther apart. So these are a little close together. Now I'm gonna come between them because when you start doing bricks, they're gonna be staggered. I'm gonna put a line here. I'm gonna come here. And if you do this correctly, it'll happen magically because you're moving away. So I'm gonna keep going with these lines and I'm gonna go in between and keep going, keep going. Just kind of hit the target in the middle. I'm gonna have to remember to move my paper. And I'm gonna keep that. And if it's not absolutely perfect, I have some mistakes there, it's okay. All right, I'll put one out there. All right, and then I'm gonna come between, between, I'm putting, saying between the lines. And I'm gonna just keep working my way. Oops, I'm gonna skip one because I didn't get it as wide as I wanted. Maybe my viewer won't, won't, won't notice that. And as I'm moving down my paper, I want a little one over here on the edge, if you can see that. Um, doo -doo, that was a little detail I put in. I wanna go over and just keep doing this, just repeating this, this pattern um, all down my paper. So this is gonna be all brick. And we've done optical illusions lots before, and we all know Optical illusions are about how lines move your eyes. So as this is kind of coming together, I'll move down my page. I'm gonna put a line going off the edge there. One here, look how my bricks are really wide and as they're moving towards the top, they're getting smaller. So we already see that the lines are bringing our eyes uh, to the place we want it to go at the top of our page. And I'm gonna add a little detail down here on the corner. All right, so just with the lines alone, we have created the optical illusion of depth, okay? So this is our basic design. Now, to save a little time, I'm gonna show it, fast forward this for you. This is your, we would call this our portal up here at the top. This is gonna actually be our, almost like a landscape, but, um, I'm gonna throw some little details in there so you really know what it is. Um, I'm gonna add some few puffy clouds in my design, because I'm looking straight up, straight up into the sky. So I want my viewer to see that. So I'm gonna add some clouds, connect that. I, you're gonna be taking your time and doing a better job than I am. I'm just trying to speed this along. All right, so I've got some cloud formations at the top. Um, also, you have to think of, there would be foliage, um, you know, maybe this is a, a project for markers. So if you've got markers at home, this is really cool to do that. You want to keep it interesting, and you may want to put a little grass along the edge up here, da 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 da, -da. Like I said, you're going to be taking more time. And once you kind of work on this, when you see my finished product, you'll see that, I don't know, we'll go take the time to color all that in. You're going to see that it's almost like looking down a rabbit hole. You can put little flowers growing up there, all kinds of little greenery. Remember, it's down in a hole down here, so you would add lots of details, maybe some flowers. Oops, look, I have rolling markers. <laughs> Stay over there. All right, maybe I have a couple of colors of flowers. And, and remember, they're far away from you so that you don't need a lot of detail. You can put things like that in there. And I'm using marker on this portion of my design because it's quick, it's fast, gets me where I need to go. And then I went back and I took, on my finished product, I took, Crayon. So I made this mixed media. 
media, being markers, crayons, um, pencils, the different kinds of art media that you can have. This is all that. And I went back and softly colored my sky. Now you could use a couple colors to add color in your sky, blending as we call it. You could use maybe crayon and coloring pencil to do this. Um, whatever you'd like to do to add that color and depth to your um, sky, that'll work and look really well. Okay, so um, details of course are gonna count. When you're doing this, you're gonna get a little tired because you're going to be doing a lot of coloring, but remember to keep your strokes going in all the right directions. I found when I started doing my brick that I liked crayon in the way the contrast with the marker, and you can go right over marker with crayon or coloring pencil, and that contrast is really nice. So I won't do all that detail, but I'll show you about this. So once I have my background done and everything's colored, um, now it's the time for your frog. Now I would suggest going online looking at a frog. Maybe you want to draw your frog uh, looking up if you possibly can. Maybe you're a good drawer. You can kind of make it happen for yourself. Um, look at some pictures of some frogs, do some sketches, practice a little bit, then get onto your green paper. And you want a frog, you know, pretty much as big as your hand would be on your paper. That's how I did mine. And I added some details. I'll go ahead and show you my finished product with um, my frog in place. See, this optical illusion, this is when you say, oh, ooh, this is so cool. So, there's my optical illusion, my sky, my flowers, my clouds. And as we move on down into the well, hop, look, there's my frog. So now I have my optical illusion with my subject here and his eyes are guiding my eyes as I look at my work going up into the sky above. So it kind of reminds us of that one point perspective where everything's being pulled into your picture up to the opening. Okay, all right guys, have fun and enjoy your project and we'll see you next week.